welcome to Mr. Strongfork's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jabbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar? Fork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra-rare Zero Vaultlanders figurine. Again. It's an investment. You know, you know, you know what? Forget it. N n never, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship! Again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. I did release them, and I'm not sorry. I will not condone, and I certainly will not participate in the needless torture of animals under the guise of scientific research, a byproduct of a capitalist system that thrives on violence. Wait, 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 wait. Why does this sound weirdly familiar? Oh, maybe because I wrote an entire mission statement about... Wait. You read my mission statement? Oh god, the memo. That's right. Yeah, they were upgrading some of the circuitry in my office and the bathroom door got stuck. So I had some time, I mean, a lot of time, to kill, and things got kind of desperate. I'm just saying I read every page that I used. Oh, God. The point is, you've proven that I can't trust you to follow corporate regulations. And what's more, you cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... He's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. Well, the thing is, I, 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 I made it, and um, maybe, maybe works. Uh, be better world. It's, it's a better world. Will be better. I, I mean, it's... Uh... Anu, stop. Look at me. This pitch is not very good. Come on, come on, keep it together! Anu, this is very, very bad. You're picking up on that, right? That this is going very, very badly? 
And then unless something starts to go very, very not badly, you're absolutely getting fired? And no one wants that. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time... No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't... It hasn't... It's in progress, and... It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. It's an energy manipulator, designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase-walk gun? It's a phase-walk device. A phaser. A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you, from my disposal, to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. <sighs> I am waiting to be deeply... Deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some sh Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Right? That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my... It was on display! I can't... Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back. There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... Gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I could get you some logical things, sir. It won't be the same. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now... It's my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, wait, wait. To me, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost! A... Uh, rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would! Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. I'm ready! Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun... Device. ...that's designed to be non-lethal, that thing is really doing some damage. Thank... you? Not a compliment. 
You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why, why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... Susan, how they hang in. Oh. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. An invasion by a rival weapons manufacturer. And I'm fired. And it's not even lunch. On the upside, the vet sent an echo. Your pet fish is doing great. Oh. Wait. I misread. It's, uh, dead. Sorry. It's okay. The words look similar. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well... I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now and it is hostile. Like very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> he felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy. All right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Re strong for we are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Could I get a cocktail? Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That 
door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilty shame. Can you mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. What's frowning? <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um... He's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's usually able to handle himself, but he's... Well, he's sort of a small-time hustler. Wow. He gets into the middle of everything. Armed TDO guards are exactly the type of threat he'd mouth off to and then be executed by. Well, that paints a picture. Oh, God. Let him be doing something quietly indoors for a change. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with the launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health covers every wound. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! How am I going to get into a launch pod without being noticed? By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You'd do that for me? Sure. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this for me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Teteor! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. 